Hey on YouTube. Okay, well. I've uh, gone and copied this circuit. This is um, from a photo on YouTube. So, this is a single side of a, a uh, 12AX7 or an ECC83. And this is from um, John Audio Tech's uh, design. And I've just copied it exactly. The only thing that I haven't got is I have not got the one mic capacitors. I have tried with 820s um, and it didn't really make any difference on the input. Didn't really make any difference all around. So I've got 100 nanofarads in anyway, which um, he said would be okay. But everything else is the same. The thing that I've got that I query about is the top of my tube glows. Now I know on the other circuit that I put together this thing works and it works great with headphones and but it doesn't work it, well it, it won't work for my phone output I can't just plug my phone onto the input here and have output you know here it doesn't do anything my phone obviously doesn't give out enough power so last night I played around I mean this is what I got at the moment that's what I get as the output I figured the scope was like being a bit moody I'll try and adjust the trigger maybe up there I'll just stay still for a minute uh, but we get it round about sort of 3 volts peak to peak out uh, less than a volt RMS I'm putting in a 1k uh, sine wave, 0.4 volts, but you know that's um, it's not the sharpest, it's not the, um, the most spot on, I suppose. But I can't, you know, I can't. That there's no way that um, it would give me a an output to a loudspeaker. It just won't have it at all. There's just not enough going on there. And I'm a little bit of a loss because it's quite hard to find 12 volt circuits anyway. I've this um, I've, I've got some figures here, but this isn't from this setup. This is from me rebuilding it last night, um, and they're the values that I used. And that gave me a bit better on the output. I got a 5.2 peak to peak on the output with a 0.4 going in. Uh, and this was the same supply voltage as what it is at the moment. Ignore the zero, zero dot one. It's supposed to be just uh, 0.1 uh, 100 milliamp, basically. And they're the figures I had, look, you know, positive on the NA, 6.54, blah, blah. And so today I rebuilt it back again as John's. And this is what I got. Figure wise. And the input output capacitors, of course, the same. But I don't get it. I don't get it because I mean I used the uh, I used variable pots last night and I fine tuned it to a nice sine wave. Um, that one's got a bit of a, a belly on it, uh, but I fine tuned it to a nice sine wave and got the figures that I've got, you know, on, on here. And then if I turned it up here and gave it, you know, some stick like a volt, a little bit over a volt peak to peak I could then, if I connected the speaker um, which is basically here, I could then hear a little faint you know, the one kilohertz sound but I can't seem to do anything else with it and I have asked, but I've not had any sort of responses um, you know, I, um, well I suppose I, I, I could have got it wrong. I, 
But there was one voltage I don't think I changed. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a loss with it. I'm not going to, you know, stop. I still will persevere. But I'm just wondering whether this has got anything to do with it. You know, at the minute, well, the setup that I had last night, I had a gain of 12. I've not worked it out on this at the minute. What we got, we got 0.4 going in, 3 coming out. Sort of 7. I don't know, I'll have to do it with the calculator. Um, but I'm not sure if this is supposed to be glowing at the top. I know it works in the other in the other setup, but that's a completely different thing. And I'm just curious, you know, I'm just looking for a little bit of help. If anyone's got any input at all, please, you know, give us help. It's uh, one of those. I'm not a professional. I'm not anything. I'm just an enthusiast trying to learn working off the internet. Anyway. Cheers for watching. Bye.